Alright boys and girls, uh, welcome to Gordon Guitar and to a beautiful, beautiful song from Aurora and Tom O'Dell. This song is called Butterflies and we covered both Aurora and Tom O'Dell before. Love both these artists and what a great collaboration here on Butterflies. So yeah, let's start this one right away. If you like songs like this, um, please subscribe. Uh, and follow me here on this channel and if you like this specific song please thumb up later let's start this one up capo on the seventh why because we need all these high notes it could be a challenge here especially if you have a guitar like me uh, you have this guitar body um, covering here up to the 12th fret sometimes some people have this cutaway so you have uh, more reachability up here on the high notes I don't have it, so I'm gonna give you uh, one, yeah, different um, alternatives of how to reach out for the notes and play them in the lower, um, yeah, uh, up here instead, instead of going up down here on this E string. Anyway, I'm gonna give all that. Let's start up with these chords, and we have um, four different chords here to learn. We'll not play the chords uh, as they are. It, this is a picking song. Uh, I think it's great to have the, the basic with you uh, and you can pick from the chords sometimes. So uh, there's a value in learning these chords. Let's start with the first one, it's the C. All right, so that is third on A, second on D, open G, first, first B and open E. Then we have the D minor. So that is open D, second G, third B, and first E. We have A minor next. So that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. And then we have um, the F for an F major seven. It's like this. So it's third on D, second on G, first on B, and yeah, open E. So there we have the chords C, D minor, A minor, and F. So we have two different melodies. That's what we're gonna learn. One melody is for the verse and the refrain, and then we have the second melody played in the chorus. So let's learn the first one, the main melody here for the verse and refrain. Uh, it goes with the chord progression. It is the same through the entire song. It's the C, D minor, A minor, and then C, D minor, A minor, and F. So that's how it goes. So it starts with the C, and the C part goes like this. All right. So uh, you can hold the chord as it is, the C, and you're going to play third on A together with third on E. So you need to add this one with your little pinky, if you hold the full chord as I do. So third on A and third on E here in top string. So play them together. Then second D. Then open E. And back to third E. That's it. Then you're gonna reach out here to the fifth on the E string here, the top string. You're gonna play that together with the open D because we are now in the D minor part. You're gonna play this two notes together. And then you're gonna hit one extra on the E. Then you're gonna play the open D. It comes immediately after you play the second time on the fifth fret E string. And then you play the open E. And then you end with third fret on the B string. So that was the D minor. I'm gonna go over that again. It's open D together with fifth E, then fifth E again, and then immediately you play open D, and then open E, and third B. And then I'm gonna play the A minor. Uh, I hold the chord as it is, and then you're gonna play open A together with first B, and you end with second D. 
So that was the half uh, out of this melee. It's the first C, D minor, and A minor. And then it uh, repeats again, C, D minor, A minor, and then F in the, in the ending there. But just to summarize the first part, it goes like this slowly. And then a longer pause. And that is the first part. Then the second part, it's the same chord progression but entirely different melody. So we're going to go back to C. And I'm used to hold the chords as they are normally if I can. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but you don't have to. It's uh, really not necessary because we just need the bass for this one when it comes to the C. You're going to play third fret on A. And then three times on the open E string. Like that. Okay, and that's it for this C. Then we are in the D minor part. It sounds like this. So that is open D together with first E. Then open E. First B. And third B. That's the D minor, and now we are into the A minor. Sounds like this. So hold the chord as it is, and then you're gonna play open A together with open E. Then second D, and first B. So the A minor was open A together with open E, second D, and first B. And then you end with the final chord, the F, and that is just a pick together, the first E string in the bass together with second G. And that ends the second part of this melody. Uh, I'm going to take you through one round of this second part slowly, so it goes like this. Let's repeat everything now, both part one and part two. I'm gonna take you through this one round slowly and then I'm gonna speed up to a kind of a standard tempo in the second round. So let's do it from the beginning. standard something like this all right and I just want to mention you play from chords and we play just single notes most of the time and sometimes we pick two notes together when you pick two notes together or even sometimes when you play just a single notes um it's not uh, any wrong by playing more notes than just single notes especially not when you play two notes together and pick you can actually pick from the full chord if you want four strings or so uh, it doesn't matter it just gives you more backbone to it this is um, the melody and the main notes you want to highlight but if you support these main notes with other notes from the chord it will sound perhaps even better it could sound something like this all right so you'll hear some difference there i picked that much more notes and yeah you can do that as well or yeah just go clean it's up to you that was the verse and refrain melody so it's used um, for the yeah in the lyrics Oh, what a perfect day, why do you have to go away? And from there on, that's the first verse. But also the refrain that starts with B, okay, 
I'm gonna be okay. So that's the two parts where you use this melody. All right, let's go into the next one. This one is a little bit tricky in that way that you need to reach out high up here. Uh, if you want, it's not necessary. Um, if you listen to the original song, it is uh, high, higher notes up here on the eighth fret. And the reason for that is it's much easier to play that on a piano. This is a piano based song. And so you don't have to worry anything about this wood playing a part here, a role in this um, in this song here. Uh, but I'm gonna give you two different ways of handling these uh, parts. But we'll start again. It's the same chord progression through entire song, so it starts again with C. So this time this um, this goes uh, like this, the C part. So it always starts like that in the C. So it's third fret on A, then first on B, then open E, and third E. All right, so third A, first B, open E, third E. And then we will play the D minor part, okay? Uh, so you have two choices here One is to play how it sounds exactly here in the original song and then you're gonna play Reach out here to the eighth fret on the E string uh, And you're gonna play the open D string together with the eighth fret E And then you're gonna play another eighth fret on E so that is the D minor part, and then we will go over to the A minor part, and you just play the open A string together with still the 8th fret E string one time. So that's the first alternative, okay? And that's when it comes to the D minor and A minor parts. So it was 8 on the E string together with open D one time. And then one extra 8th fret E string. That's the D minor. And then you go to the open A string and play that together with the 8th fret E string. And that's the A minor part. Okay, so this D minor, A minor, that's alternative one. The second one is to play up here lower. It sounds like this. So that is instead open D string together with now first fret B string. Much easier. And then you play on one extra note here on the first fret B string. That's the D minor part in the second alternative. And then you're gonna play the open A together with first B string to play the A minor part. So you have now to choose if you go up here and play the alternative one on the high E, the A minor, or the second alternative on the lower here, first fret B string, open D, and A minor part there. All right, so that's how the first half of it starts. So it goes again, C, D minor, and A minor, like this, slowly. Like this. Okay, so that's the first half. The second half it starts in the same way with the C, so it goes. So nothing changes there. And then you're gonna play the second alternative that we just learned here when it comes to the D minor and uh, and A minor. Then remember we have an F here in the ending, so that F will be it will be that low here. So that's the reason for why we're playing the second alternative here when it comes to the D minor A minor, since the F is also here and it close on the lower notes here. So the F was first fret B string, and then you're gonna play the first fret B together with third D. And you end with second G. 
Okay, so the second part now, it was starting in the same way with the C. And then we're gonna go for the second alternative. It's the open D string to go to the first B, and then first B, and then the A minor, the open A to go to the first B, and then we play the F. It's the first B, and then first B together with third D, and second G. I'm gonna take you through this first um, half out of this melody actually because it's two chord progression rounds. We're gonna repeat all that again, the C, D minor, A minor, and the uh, yeah, ending there. So anyway, I'm gonna take you through this first half. It goes like this. gonna play part one again on the second chord progression round and again you can uh, you will start with the C and then you can uh, you can choose to play parts uh, the part one uh, with either the first alternative or the second alternative so we don't have to repeat that again so you're gonna play that first half of it and then the second half of it will be uh, the C D minor A minor and F part it goes like this So that will be C, third fret on A string, then first fret B string, then open B, first B, and then you're gonna play the open D string together with open B, and then first B, open G, then open A, then open E, then fifth E, and you end with first E. So that was the second half on the second chord progression here in this melody. A lot of things to uh, separate here, but I'm gonna take you through this last part here we had and it's all right so that was the a little bit harder part uh, when it comes to um, the chorus and I'm gonna take you through this uh, slowly and I'm gonna show you how I would choose to play um, so uh, yeah, let's go. So that's what you need for the song and then you just use the different parts here with the different melodies. So a beautiful song from Aurora and Tom O'Dell, especially love uh, Mr. O'Dell here is, is really great. All songs are kind of um, really high up there for me. So give it a try guys. If you love uh, picking songs, this one is one to go for. So. Thank you for watching and if you did enjoy this and if it was helpful please thumb up and show me some support here so till next time play tuned